microphone is closed. Hello? You have to speak directly into it straight. Okay, yeah. Um, so I will read what the just the, the draft, which is now set and open for your your uh, ideas today, November fifth, which will be tomorrow. Um, one hundred. We have to get the exact numbers. One hundred women from thirty-eight plus nations. I think more should even tell you that. Representing governments, interna international institutions, and civil society, met in the beautiful Mediterranean city of Barnica, Cyprus to strengthen our solidarity and call to action under the theme, transforming our world through advancing peace, a culture of peace and human dignity. Reminded of the remarkable legacy of women leaders, which I just now added, um, of women peacemakers, and our own dedication to culture of peace program, sustainable development goals, Security Council resolutions on women, peace and security, which include, of course, 1325, and the innate desire of all humanity to live in peace and shared prosperity. We call upon our leaders and ourselves to settle for no less. Celebrating 75 years of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights this year, we remind ourselves that global commitments can and have influenced mindsets and behavior dramatically. Drawing upon 20 annual Women's Federation for World Peace Europe, Women's Leadership Conferences, and 25 annual Women's Federation for World Peace in the Middle East Conferences, which have examined every angle of women's role in peace and human development, we can only redetermine our conviction as we build momentum and include like-minded women and their networks. Ever convinced that the constant outbreak of war and hostilities and harsh injustices, which I just added here in the notes, you quote, um, ever convinced the constant outbreak of war and hostilities and harsh injustices in our region and around the world is not inevitable. We understand that the prohibition of such behavior must begin in families and in early childhood, which is our responsibility. There is no peace without women. As such, we women leaders redetermine our commitment to take the lead in realizing a world of peace by expanding our peace networks of individuals, organizations, and agencies committed to protecting human dignity, human rights, the recognition of shared responsibility and uni universal values, beginning again in our own lives and families. The solution is only as we see all victims of injustice and war as our own brothers, sisters, and children. Back to uh, Cook from the Netherlands. <laughs> you can feel how the person was so moved. I think we were in tears to just see the, the photos and hear the stories that Miriam just described. Um, and commit all our human resources to find constructive alternative ways to promote the rules of peaceful coexistence and the world of lasting peace. And then, as such, we declare. So after, under that, we will have our list of recommendations, and I've received some already. I've taken some notes now, but I, I thought after dinner tonight, in our tradition at the Women's Middle East Peace Conferences, if anyone is, still has some energy left, we could meet back in this room, a few, and we will put this up on the screen and we will add our points so they can be ready to be voted on 